welcome all in this session we will discuss about the modern business organization ownership and control the term business organization describe how businesses are structured and how their structure help them meet their goals in general businesses are designed to focus on either generating profit or improving society so when a business focuses on generating profit it is a uh, known as a for profit organization when an organization focus on improving the social goods through the art education healthcare or some other area it is known as a non profit organization and is not typically referred to as a business so there are different categories of business organization that relate to how the business is established owned and operated so the basic categories of business organization are sole proprietorship joint hindu family business partnership firm joint stock companies private limited or public limited company cooperative societies etc uh, so each type of business organization has benefits as well as our disadvantages also for example a sole proprietorship of a, a small business is able to operate independently of much of the government regulations that affect large businesses but he or sh she is liable for all financial risk of the business so the owner of a small grocery store is able to keep all the profits for herself but uh, he is also liable for all of her business uh, and debts even if she was must repay a debt with her personal finances so no no matter how a business is organized it takes on certain risk as it operates one way to minimize risk is for a business to use its assets and investment wisely so where these are equipments knowledge property or relationships the more efficiently a business uses its assets the greater the chance that it will make a monetary profit so business organization affects how a business is treated under the law state and federal governments provide incentives and rules for every type of business organization profitability in industry helps a country's economy grow so government generally support corporations by passing laws that protect investors from liabilities for the debt of the business now choosing a form of biz, form of business organization you how you choose a form of business organization so the choice of the form of business is governed by several interrelated and independent factors like the nature of the business uh, is the most important factor a small scale business large scale business medium scale business the volume of business is where play a important role to find out the form of business organization and the degree of control desired by the owner also the how much capital you required to for establishment and uh, operations of a business or for uh, investment the volume of risk and liabilities as well as the willingness of the owners to bear it comparative tax liabilities etc play a important role to find out or decide the form of business organization now first of all we will discuss about a uh, industrial ownership to start an industry or business money is required whosoever provide the money become the owner of that particular enterprise ownership when applied to an industrial enterprise means title to or possession of the assets of the enterprise so the power to determine the policies of operation and the right to receive and dispose uh, of the proceeds broadly money can be arranged from an industry in three different ways if the capital is provided by single individual it is known as a individual ownership or individual entrepreneur single ownership sole proprietorship etc if the capital is supplied by two or more person it refers to a partnership organization or if the capital is provided by many persons in the form of shares to uh, an institution with a legal entity is called as a joint stock company so there are other forms of ownership also but they are merely outgrowth for the three types of uh, mentioned ever, ever. so uh, the different types of ownerships are categorized in three uh, major categories 
private sector enterprise the main objective of private sector enterprise is profit making public sector enterprise they can create a balance between the industries and cooperative sector enterprises they can be created on the mutual interest basis and they treated as a non profitable firms so first of all we will discuss about the single proprietorship this is the simplest and oldest form of business organization a business owned by one person only is called as a single ownership or sole or individual proprietorship enterprise here an individual exercises and enjoy ownership rights in his own interest in this type of enterprise the individual entrepreneur supplies the entire capital he organizes and manages the business himself and take the entire risk the entire authority and responsibility in the matter of decision making policy making working belong to him all profits and losses are his own if necessary he can employ some person to assist him this type of business can be started by any person having initiative tact or selling aptitude and little capital to enter into business so it is owned managed and controlled by only one person hence it is called as a one man business or sole proprietorship for example an enterprise run by a single owner are printing press auto repair shop wood working plant a small fabrication shop Uh, retail traders service industries small engineering firm etc etc so there are some category uh, characteristics also this type of ownership there is an uh, one man effort that's why it is called as a individual ownership enterprise and owners entity is same uh, in that type of enterprises all risk related to businesses are covered by only the owner one owner all profit after deduction of taxes go to the directly proprietors minimum legal formalities uh, are can be filled to start a business and there is unlimited li- liabilities in case of loss the entire debt or loan is recovered from the asset of owner so ownership and management have no separate entity in this type of uh, uh, business organizations there are some advantages also of proper proprietorship because advantages like or you can say that the merit is a easy formation and closure as no legal formalities are required in such type of ownerships flexibility in management because it is easy to change the products or services policies and controls and the extremely easy decision makings are there due to single ownership all profits and growth of businesses are shared by only one owner he is therefore highly motivated to work for improvement and profit the full control of business activities in only a one hand uh, the trade secrets are easy to maintain in this type of business organizations there is a no compulsion to public the accounts the personal touch for excellence is also used and simple and less complicated operations are uh, exist in this type of ownership but there are some disadvantages also because the owner has unlimited liabilities uh, unlimited liabilities in case of loss the entire debt or entire loan is recovered by uh, recovered from the asset of the owner the there is a difficulty to raise cap- capital if you uh, want to raise the size of the business it is very difficult or tough task in this type of ownership business has a limited life because it totally depends on a single owner if a owner is not available due to illness or uh, sudden death so then business is totally destroyed so difficulty to business beyond a certain level it uh, it is uh, very difficult to handle or uh, due to non availability of another person uh, the single owner share the overall responsibilities when the production volume is less the overhead cost are not widely distributed on the price of product this may be a cause of high cost of the product so due to financial capacity of sole ownership uh, 
देर इज ऑलवेज अ लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज एंड ड्यू टू ह्यूमन लिमिटेशन ऑफ एक्सीलेंस इन ऑल स्फेयर सच एज प्रोडक्शन मार्केटिंग फाइनेंस देर इज एन लिमिटेशन इन अ मैनेजरियल स्किल्स ऑल्सो सो नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ ओनरशिप इज अ ज्वाइंट हिंदू फैमिली बिजनेस इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ फैमिली बिजनेस गवर्न बाय द हिंदू लॉ देर आर टू सिस्टम ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस आर कॉमन इन दिस टाइप ऑफ फैमिली बिजनेसेज वन इज अ दया भागा बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल मेम्बर्स ऑफ द फैमिली कैन बिकम को पार्टनर इन द फैमिली बिजनेस और प्रॉपर्टी इट इज ओनली फाउंड इन वेस्ट बेंगाल इन इंडिया एंड सेकेंड कॉन्सेप्ट इज इन मिताक्षरा दिस सिस्टम इज फाउंड इन इंडिया एट प्लेस अदर देन बेस्ट बेंगाल ओनली द मेल मेंबर ऑफ द फैमिली कैन बिकम द को पार्टनर इन द फैमिली बिजनेसेज सो प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ हिंदू इज इनहेरिटेड आफ्टर द डेथ बाय हिज सन एंड ग्रांड सन्स एंड ग्रेट ग्रैंड सन्स बाय नेक्स्ट थ्री जनरेशंस ईच मेंबर ऑफ द थ्री जनरेशंस आर को पार्टनर इन द एनसेट्रल प्रॉपर्टीज द हिंदू अनडिवाइडेड फैमिली बिजनेस और प्रॉपर्टी इज हैंडल्ड एंड कंट्रोल्ड बाय द हेड ऑफ द फैमिली ओनली हु इज कॉल्ड एज अ कर्ता देर आर सम करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑल्सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक द मेम्बरशिप इज ग्रांटेड बाय बर्थ ऑफ अ चाइल्ड इन केस ऑफ मिताक्षरा सिस्टम ओनली मेल चाइल्ड गेट ऑटोमेटिक मेम्बरशिप आफ्टर द बर्थ माइनर्स कैन बिकम फुल फ्लैज मेम्बर्स देर इज नो लिमिट on a number of members the lower limit is two members but uh, for maximum there is a low no limit there is no need for the registration of the family business the management of business is only handled by the karta of the family or head of the form, family the system is continuous or perpetual it runs generation after generation the liability of karta is uh, unlimited while the liability of other members is limited to the share of their properties so except in west bengal only male member can become a member of the business in such type of business organizations the advantages of hindu family business is every co person has an assured share in our profit the business has continue continued existence because uh, it transform generation to generation the decision making is quick as uh, because uh, the power is uh, handled by only a head of the family that is called as a karta there is no corporate taxes are imposed in this type of family uh, business and people use it mostly for tax benefits these days the disadvantages of this uh, uh, type of business organization because that the absolute power is only in the hand of karta he can take every type of decision operational financial decisions for business it uh, having an instability if uh, generation uh, male generation is not available then there is a point which uh, the business is unstable sometime there is only a limited resources can be raised and scope for conflict or also arises because uh, it involves a family next uh, type of business organization is a partnership firms partnership uh, is an association of two or more persons to carry on business as a co owner for sharing profits they put their money their ability skills knowledge etc for the purpose of running an enterprise and earn profit so partnership are based upon a partnership agreement usually in writing it defines the authority rights and duties of each partners including percentage of profit sharing it comes handy in case of disagreement among the partners so partnership become necessary when the size of business enterprise grows uh, grows beyond a certain limits the two major differences from sole proprietorship firms are number of owner are more than one but less than 20 and more capital assets diversified expertise are available due to more than one owner there are some characteristics of uh, partnership firms like more than one but less than 20 partners are needed in this type of business organizations there must be an agreement among partners which could be written oral or sometime implied 
joint liabilities of all partners in case of liquidation which may be proportional to their share in uh, deed Uh, success of partnership firm is possible when there is full trust and honesty sharing of information transactions and client dealing is must the registration of the partnership firm is uh, not necessary according to the partnership act however if registered with the registrar of a firm legal complications are minimized in case of disputes and the time span of partnership firms depend upon the will of all partners it can be dissolved on death or any time when all partners disagree there are some advantages also of a partnership act uh, by an agreement or partnership deed the formation of this type of organization is very easy the it uh, large pooling of financial resources due to more number of capital sharing members are available the sharing of managerial skills by partners help in uh, decision making the collective business decisions taken by the partners all partners of a business organization flexibility in change over due to lesser number of mutually interactive members there is a secrecy due to lesser members active interest by members due to major share in capital and direct risk in business dealing is shown in this type of business organization check and controlling due to watchfulness of all partners is necessary in this type of uh, organization and the interest of partner is fully protected in case of dissatisfaction or any partner can press for dissolution of uh, deed so there is a subject to fear regulations as compared to other companies now disadvantages of partnership uh, there is an unlimited liability in uh, case of dissolution of firm Uh, the life of uh, this type of business is uh, uncertain you can say that or limited because uh, if uh, the partner is not available in any cases the stability of uh, business organization is not assured the uncertainty of uh, like uh, the uncertainty of uh, existence due to death or bankruptcy or demand of a partners and the risk of uh, sharing loss due to other partners sometime misdeed this type of business organizations so they they can arise a chance of disputes also and uh, there is also a difficulty in the raise of capital if partners are not agreed at a mutual point or a common point so this is uh, uh, it is also having a lack of public and institutional uh, confidence due to no disclosure of accounts and progress reports of the firm the difficulties in expansion and modernization are also faced by this type of organization because not more than 20 partners can be accommodated in this type of firm so future fund generation is very difficult in this type of organization there there is also a difficulty to withdraw from firm because the consent of all other partners may not be readily forthcoming so partnership is an ideal form of organization for small scale and medium sized businesses where there is a limited market limited risk of loss uh, limited capital limited specialization in management is needed for example wholesale trader retail trade commercial farming small scale industries local enterprise transport services etc another type of uh, business organization is a joint stock company the most important feature of a joint stock company is that it is an association of individuals that called as a shareholder who join together they agree to supply capital divided into shares and want to share profits it is that form of business activities which is most suited for large scale businesses it does not suffer from limitations of capital and management as in case of partnership firms so sufficient number of skilled persons and experts may be employed to run the business professionally the company is managed by a board of directors elected by the shareholders who make policies take decisions and run the company the characteristic of a joint stock company or corporation is it is considered as a separate legal entity 
it uh, comes into a formation after all fam formalities under the indian company and companies act 1956 are completed management and ownership is completely separate in this type of business organizations capital is wrote, uh, raised through shares which are transferable or sometime non transferable it depends on the which type of joint stock company we have in public private limited company or public limited company now there is an advantages of uh, joint stock companies uh, like uh, there is a huge sum of money can be raised uh, it associates limited liability with uh, it shares are transferable sometime company's life is not affected by the life of the shareholder in the services of specialist can be obtained risk of loss is divided among many shareholders and the company associates with it stability efficiency and flexibility of the management there are some disadvantages or also exist in this type of company or joint stock companies like a good deal of legal formalities is required for the formation of a joint stock company that's why it is not easy a company is managed by big shareholders only highly paid officials manage the whole show they cannot have as high interest in the company as the proprietor can have and people can commit fraud with the company sometime the board of directors and managers who remain familiar with the financial position of the company may sell or purchase shares for their personal benefits also this so there it is uh, difficult to maintain a secrecy in this type of business organizations and the time is spread with which partnership works is lacking in joint stock companies dividend responsibilities play a important role in the profitability of a business there is a due to existence of shareholder there is a delay in a policy decisions because uh, sometime the people not agree at a mutual uh, point or they don't have a mutual consent or it is very difficult to control a overall group because uh, it having a large scale business now there are two types of joint stock companies or corporations are there one is a private limited company and second one is a public limited company private limited company is established by an article of association which has the following main features like uh, restrictions on the right of the member in transferring the shares if member is not related or exist in a firm that shares are not transferable decides the number of its member which can be between 2 to 50 only it restricts involvement of public other than its member to subscribe its shares or debentures a private company must get its account audited a private company has to send a certificate along the annual returns to the registrar of joint stock company stating that it does not have shareholders more than 50 excluding the employee and ex employees shareholders so actually a private joint stock company resembles much with partnership firms and has the advantage that big capital can be collected than could be done in partnership firm another type of uh, joint stock company or corporation is a public limited company it is also established by an article of association according to the companies act which has the following different features like uh, there is an no restrictions on the right of the member in transferring the shares the stocks are held by a large number of people and uh, puts no upper limit on the number of members like uh, minimum number of shareholder is 7 uh, for maximum there is a low limit the company can be listed on a stock exchange and can go public also so it also have to follow many laws with regard to the board composition of uh, annual general meeting the company keeps the keep it keeps the company free to invite public to subscribe its shares or debentures usually having a small face values it also ha has to hold a general meeting the company must get its accounts audited every year by registered 
auditors a company public limited company has to file with the registrar of joint stock company documents such as consent of the director list of directors or directors contract etc along with the memorandum of association and the article of association so another type of business organization is a cooperative enterprises or cooperative society cooperative societies is a form of organization where in persons voluntarily associate together on the basis of equality for the fulfillment of their common economic interests so the basic aim of cooperative organization is self help through mutual cooperation there are some salient features of cooperative societies like uh, uh, there is an voluntary association in this type of businesses the minimum membership requirement is 10 and there is no maximum limit for membership the registration of cooperative society is must under the cooperative society act after the registration it enjoys a certain privileges of a joint stock company this type of business is suited for relatively economical weaker sections the objective uh, of this uh, type of business organization is a mutual help and services they can share a common interest among the members they having a open memberships they having a democratic setup it they are based on a one principle one person one port principles the they having a separate legislative entity and there is also a special laws deals with the formation and taxation of cooperative societies and the disposable of surplus interest or profit among members is in accordance with their share capital there are basically four types of cooperative societies are there first is a producer cooperative societies producer cooperative societies which work for group buying and selling such as uh, items as grains food fruits dairy products etc for example uh handlooms these are the best example of producers cooperative societies another type of cooperative society is a consumers cooperative society which works in retail trade and services like uh, in K- kendriya bhandar or apna bazaar these are the examples of a consumer cooperative societies third type of consumers uh, cop third type of cooperative society is a housing cooperative society which work for constructing and providing housing to the membership like uh, employees housing society or ma- metropolitan housing society are the examples of a ha- housing cooperative societies and uh, fourth type of so- cooperative society is a credit cooperatives which uh, basically provides the loan uh, to its uh, needy members like uh, the example of credit cooperative society is uh, urban cooperative banks or uh, village services which can provide a uh, easy loans uh, for needy peoples now advantages of cooperative society the uh, the formation of this type of society is very easy daily necessities of life can be made available at uh, lower rate in that type of business organization it is the democratic form of ownership it promote cooperation and mutual assistance and the idea of self uh, help no one person can make huge profits monetary help can be secured from government in this type of business organizations there is always a limited liability this type of organization because of government support having a uh, stability they work on a democratic setup or democratic principles uh, goods required can be purchased directly from the manufacturers and therefore can be sold at uh, less rate it uh, promotes cooperation and mutual assistance and the idea of self help also there are some disadvantages or also exist in this type of society like a conflict conflict may arise among the members on the issues of sharing uh, responsibilities and enjoying authorities there is a uh, long decision making process where because of involvement of government in this type of business organizations or sometime there is a condition of finance being limited especially services cannot be taken so the members of the cooperative manage 
the whole show they may not be competent enough to make it a good success sometime members who are in position may try to take personal advantages uh, it also leads to corruption it is also in dis disadvantage of this type of society and uh, the members being in services elsewhere may not be able to devote necessary attentions and adequate time for uh, supervising the uh, work of the cooperative enterprises so these are the general types of business organizations thank you